We now move into our aviation weather segment. The aviation weather information contained in the program is for planning purposes only. Pilots are urged to obtain a pre-flight briefing prior to departure. Our aviation charts depict three flying weather categories. The red area is IFR, where instrument flight rules apply. A pilot must have a special rating in order to fly IFR. IFR is defined as cloud ceilings less than 1,000 feet and or visibilities less than three miles. Blue means marginal visual flight rules, or MVFR. This means that cloud ceilings are 1,000 to 3,000 feet and or visibilities three to five miles. The unshaded areas depict where VFR flight rules apply with cloud ceilings greater than 3,000 feet and visibilities greater than five miles. The heights of the freezing level are shown on the current flying chart as solid white lines. When you see a line with SFC, it means the freezing level is at the surface, and in our example here, the freezing level is at 8,000 feet, mean sea level. Next, we indicate current areas of moderate or severe aircraft icing. Here we see moderate icing over the Great Lakes at altitudes from the freezing level to 16,000 feet. If turbulence is moderate or greater, we show the turbulence and altitude where it occurs. In addition, any ongoing severe weather watches are also included with the current flying weather. This example shows moderate turbulence between 26,000 and 38,000 feet and a severe weather watch area. After showing current and forecast flying conditions, we move to winds aloft at three levels in the atmosphere. 2,000 feet above ground level, AGL, 10,000 feet, and either 34 or 39,000 feet above mean sea level, MSL. In this example, the arrows indicate wind direction. The colored or shaded areas show wind velocity. Yellow, 25 to 50 knots. Light orange, 50 to 100 knots. Dark orange, 100 to 150 knots. And in the red areas, winds exceed 150 knots. Now, on to Weather Watch. Before we discuss Weather Watch, for those of you who may have just joined us, the following information does not pertain to today's weather. Weather Watch is where we highlight those potentially dangerous or dangerous weather situations that affect travel or our daily lives. Our Weather Watch charts show areas of watches, warnings, and advisories. A watch indicates that conditions favor the events described. Therefore, it's probable that it will occur. A watch is indicated by blue shading. A warning means hazardous weather is imminent or is already in progress. A warning is shown by red shading. For instance, a tornado watch means that weather conditions favor tornado formation. Tornado warning, on the other hand, means the tornado has already developed and has either been spotted from the ground or confirmed by radar observation. Here's how a weather watch segment might go. We'll begin on the Great Lakes, where we have storm and gale warnings indicated by the red hatched areas. Moving into the lower Mississippi Valley, the blue rectangle indicates a severe thunderstorm watch. We have a red shaded area depicting a tornado warning. Along the Gulf Coast of Louisiana, hurricane warnings have been posted. The blue area next to the hurricane warning indicates a hurricane watch. Farther northwest in the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles, frost and freeze warnings have been issued. We also show advisories. An advisory is an alert to adverse weather and the effect that weather will have on particular segments of the population. An advisory is represented by a shaded area and appropriate labels. In upstate New York, we have snow advisories posted. Pennsylvania, we have an advisory for freezing rain. In the Salt Lake Basin, we have an air stagnation advisory. And in Southern California, advisories for dense fogs. Along the Pacific Coast, small craft advisories have been posted from San Francisco Bay on northward, while in the Montana Rockies, we have an advisory for strong winds. Finally, our weather watch map includes a severe weather outlook. The orange shaded area indicates a moderate risk of severe thunderstorms, while the surrounding orange outline indicates a slight risk. That wraps things up for this special Christmas program. We hope we've answered your questions and given you a better understanding of our symbols. For Carl, Wayne, and me and the rest of the AM Weather Team, please travel safely and have a Merry Christmas. <laughs>